What's up my beautiful babes? How are you doing Miss Beautiful Thang? Or Mr. Beautiful Thang, how are you today? So, I am back for more wig makeovers. I'm about to be wigged and gigged and chigged, okay? <laughs> This is the ugliest wig ever. You guys always want to see me with dark hair. Well, this is it. I'm hideous, okay? I'm gross. I hate it. I don't feel like myself with dark hair. But anyways, today we're gonna bring this wig from drab to fab, and it's gonna take me like four hours, and I can't wait for it. <laughs> no, honestly, I really can't wait for it. I love, love, love wig transformations because it's like doing a real person's hair, but they don't talk, and the hair comes off their scalp, so you can do whatever the hell you want with it. And that is my type of client, honey. <laughs> so I'm gonna get started, and before I start, if you guys don't already follow me on Instagram and Twitter, I mean, I would really like it if you did. And like, you could stay up to date with my life and my giveaways that I do all the time. You know, updates on my hair product line, when it's being launched. I spill a lot of tea on Twitter, so all that good stuff. And I'm done boring you guys for today. Let's get started. I'm gonna make over this wig because honey, she needs a really good makeover because she's not looking cute anymore. I'm gonna probably do some like balayage highlights, cut her into maybe like a bob. That's what I'm thinking, a long bob maybe. Mm, I don't know, we'll see. Give her some nice beach waves. I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna feel it out, see how I'm feeling while I'm doing it. You know what I mean? All right you guys, <laughs> let's get it started. part now. Ready? Wig. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna start by taking my lightener here. I'm using Color Charm well, by Wella uh, lightener and 30 volume because you know what? That's all I have today. So that's what I'm using. 30 volume with lightener because I don't know how this is gonna lift. I don't, I have no idea. Um, it's probably gonna lift very, very red. So we might do like a red ombre. I don't know. We're gonna see what happens just like any other time in my life while I'm doing hair. We're just gonna see what happens and hope for the best. <laughs> and yeah, you'll see how I paint the hair as I go. Uh, I probably won't explain much because you know what? That's hard and difficult and I don't wanna make this any harder than it already is, okay? <laughs> Hey guys, so just a tip um, before I keep going. I, so I have been trained a ton in balayage for many, many, many years. Um, and everybody has a different technique and some people are more precise with their sectioning, some people aren't. And some people are just very whatever and like kind of just go at it and take random sections and just feel it out. I'm somewhere in between those two. I used to be very precise because the salon I worked at, everybody was super precise with their balayage and highlights. Everything was very like perfect, 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 mathematical, perfect. And I never really liked that. I was kind of more of a person who would just kind of go around and feel it out and do whatever. So now I'm definitely like in between the two. I like to, you know, do some sectioning like this, but um, but also just feel the way their hair moves and the way their, if they have a cowlick or they, if they have, if their hair goes in one direction or the other direction, I kind of just feel it out and go from there and just look at it, you know? Definitely just don't color too much hair. I find that that happens a lot with people. They, cut, they, they pick up way, way too much hair and they don't realize that this highlight, when it's blow dried, it's gonna expand so much bigger than it actually is, than it actually looks in the head right now. So just think about that. I just wanted to give you guys those quick little tips before I keep going. So I'm just gonna do, I, I did a lot in the front for sure because I want it very bright in the front, but I'm gonna start doing minimal highlights throughout the back, all right? That's all. <laughs> All 
All right, you guys, so that is it. That is all the highlights that I'm gonna do on her right now. It doesn't look like that much, but you'll see once I rinse it and dry, it's a lot of highlights. And honestly, that took me only like 20 to 30 minutes. So you can do balayage and you can do it quick and you can make it very, very effective, all right? I kind of went around her face and also it's lightning so bright already, like it's blonde in the front. Uh, or like orange, I should say. Orange, yellow. We're almost there. I don't think I'm gonna make it too light. I think I'm gonna like probably rinse it in like 15 to 20 minutes. That way it doesn't get too blonde. I like her dark, but I definitely wanna lighten it up a little bit. And I think it's gonna look really, really amazing. All right. All right, she is cooked. She's ready to go. She's nice and blonde. Actually, kind of still brown, but much lighter. I'm gonna go rinse her off. I'll be right back. All right, so I just washed the hair. Um, let me show you real quick. You probably can't see too, too much on the camera, but in person, it is like the most gorgeous. Ah! I'm so obsessed with it. Wait, it came out so perfect, but they're like kind of caramelly colored highlights. I ended up not um, toning the hair because you know what, when something comes out perfect and it's just meant to be, it, these highlights are so even already. I don't need to, you know, even them out, even them out with a toner. I think it looks so good and so perfect already. You know what, there's no need to mess with the hair too much if it's already, if it already looks good, all right? So that's my advice with toner. If you don't need it, don't do it. That's it. <laughs> or do a clear gloss, that's always a good idea too. Just to give the hair a ton of shine. Make it look all gorge. But she, I mean, her hair is, this hair is really, really, really nice and soft and like never gets tangled. So I'm happy with it. All right, I'm gonna probably cut her hair to about the height of the table, um, I think. I don't know, like the highlights look so good. This is hard for me. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna give it a trim. Okay, so I'm gonna cut about, let me show you. I'm gonna cut like, this much off to get rid of all that crap on the bottom. You see that? Like, ew, what is that? I'm not gonna cut too much off just because I love these highlights in the bottom and they're so pretty and like, she's not ready to go short, okay? Actually, that's like, like five inches off the bottom. All right, let's do it.
I just finished up the wig. I finished her styling. I did a little behind the ear moment because I thought it was cute or whatever. But I'm so happy with the way it came out. It's very sun-kissed and fabulous. And I think it's subtle, but still a big change. It makes it look much, much more natural having these highlights going through it. Um, I feel like before it was just kind of a big blob of dark hair, which I always hate. I think if you have dark hair, just do a little tiny bit of a highlight. It'll help everything. It'll make you look so much healthier and glowy and beautiful. But yeah, I'm very happy with the way it came out. Again, I did not glue this down, so that's why it looks a little ratchet in the front. And yeah, I'm super, super happy and this hair is so, so soft. Mm. I love it. 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 So there you have you guys. I balayage painted it with lightener. I did not tone it because I don't feel like it really needed any. You could have if you didn't want it as warm as this, but I don't mind. I like warmth. I always like warm hair, warm makeup, warm everything. I think it's just prettier to me at least. So I did not tone it. And then I cut like five inches off of it. Gave it a little blunt haircut. Actually, it has a little bit of layering in it. Blow dried it, curled it with a straightener, and then gave it a little bit of a zhush. Put it on my head and this is the new girl. This is the new unit. She's looking so much more fabulous than before. And again, if you guys want to see more of me, follow me on Instagram. And if you want to hear me complain about life, follow me on Twitter. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to live your extra life. <laughs> and I will see you all next time. Peace.